We've got a quick one today. We're gonna to make a fog buster out of all these pieces and parts for the Tormach over there. The folks who like all the welding and woodworking videos, bear with me. We're gonna be back to those soon, but we're gonna do a few machining videos in the meantime. These are most of the parts that we will need to create our fog buster. I will try and put all of the links as affiliate links down below. If you wanna use those links, it helps me out a little bit. If you don't, I understand, that's cool. You can find a lot of these type fittings at your local Home Depot. These guys, Good luck. <laughs> I think you can find them at like Woodcraft and places like that. So anyway, I'll leave as many links as I can down below for all of this stuff. I do want to point out, I like the yellow tape. Mm -hmm. We got some one inch PVC, 10 and a half inches long, some zip ties, some lock line, and some accessories for the lock line. So this is all quarter inch lock line, just so we know. This is a, uh, a valve, yep, just a simple valve lock line to lock line. These two are valves that are quarter inch lock line to um, quarter inch NPT. We've got a T. This is the one that makes all of this possible. It's a double female, and I'll put a link in the description to all of these things, but this was the hardest for me to find. I just didn't know what to call it. And then a couple different nozzles. This is a quarter inch to quarter inch coupler, and you can see I filed a flat in it, and it's just so I can hold it steady. Then this is a quarter inch NPT to quarter inch tube and it's a shark bite type product. And then this is a quarter inch NPT back to quarter inch lock line. Then I have a three eighths to quarter and that's used up here. And I had to use a half to three eighths bushing then the three eighths to quarter. I think you can find these in half NPT, half inch NPT to quarter inch line. I just couldn't get a hold of them. I've got some smaller, so this is quarter inch NPT to quarter inch line. Then this is actually eighth inch uh, NPT uh, needle valve here, and that will work. There's a, a bushing here that works to connect the quarter inch plastic line. So this works out really well, plus, um, this coupler here is quarter to quarter, and then I drilled a hole to make it eighth inch pipe thread for this to fit. The nice thing is most of the Home Depot type sets of taps include an eighth inch pipe thread tap. They don't include a quarter inch thread, which was a little disappointing, but we made it work. Then I've got a couple grommets here, and these are just sized so that the, uh, plastic tubing will fit through and it's just where the tubing is going to go through the machine. I just held them up and found the ones that were going to fit. <laughs> That's how we do it. This is an A.O. Smith uh, whole house water filter. And I took the filter part out and that's what this guy's for. So he's going to shove up in there and we're going to pressurize it with, there's a solenoid here and a regulator here. So we'll probably put 20, 25 pounds of pressure on this side. This solenoid will be controlled by the Tormach. It's the coolant on off, which is awesome. And then, so we'll have pressurized line coming through here. It'll pressurize this canister, which will be full of WD-40. And then that will force it up through the bottom of this and out through that side. This T-coupler is so that I can get just straight air inside the unit. And then this little dude is gonna mix air and pressurize WD-40 along with the needle valve. You'll see how it all works out. <laughs> Hang on with me.
bracket that was on the machine when I bought it. The former owner, I think, probably bent that out of a piece of something he had on the shop. And I went ahead and welded that coupler to it. I tried to use some zip ties and that didn't work out for me. So I'm gonna get all the plumbing put back into it and then we'll get this put on the machine. Next step, we're gonna drill a couple holes on the right side of the mill, and I'm gonna leave enough line kind of up and over, and then the air is gonna come in here, and the WD-40 is just gonna parallel that, and I'll zip tie it to the lock line, and then the WD-40 will come in here so I can adjust this needle valve for it, and then you'll see the air will split off here. So I can run a little bit higher pressure, let's call it here, and then turn it down here. And if I need to control the whole spray there, might be too much control, but I think it's gonna work. And this is like a super cheap, <laughs> like almost all these parts I had sitting around. So this is good. Just a quick note here, if you're gonna use poly tubing and a compression fitting, like what comes on the end of that needle valve there, you've gotta use the little adapter that they give you for poly tubing, which is that piece that I'm pushing in right there. <laughs> you've got to you've got to use that to make sure the compression fitting works correctly. The air is coming in over there, going to the power draw bar that way. Regulator solenoid solenoid is plugged in right now this is on filter not on bypass not on off so we should be able to crack the valve and watch the wd-40 start to roll in let's hope let's see if we can oh yeah oh yeah baby easy buddy it's got to get a lot of air out of the line there so we'll let it puke for just a minute until we can get a solid stream coming out of our water filter. Here we go, coolant. Yeah, nice. You probably, well, maybe you can see that on camera, just a nice little stream, a little bit of air coming out of the other one. And that should work awesome for us. I just came up with a little facing routine here just to try everything out. So we'll hit cycle start. It should have. This always makes me nervous. We're getting a good miss down there. Here, let's take a look, closer look. It's putting down a really nice fine mist. right where it needs to. So I am gonna call this project a smashing success. This has been wonderful. Now I don't have to have the doors open playing cowboy, <laughs> shooting my WD-40 as we go. That is it for this time. <laughs> I did install some LEDs just for funsies, you know, I gotta have fun little projects every once in a while, but we can turn them green for Greg's garage or we can turn them Orange for skyscraper, yeah, check it out. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me on this build for the Fog Buster. I'm super happy with the Fog Buster. Now I'll actually be able to close my doors and let this thing eat. As usual, I had a ton of fun doing this project. I hope you guys had fun following along with me and I hope you join me next time. Take it easy.